today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be a massive Christmassy Lush haul. I've been holding off as long as possible to do an order off of Lush because, yeah, I just wanted to wait till it was in like the most, like the festive time of year. I feel like now it's November, we can kind of start thinking about Christmas. And um, yeah, I was really excited by all the new um, products that they had. And I literally haven't ordered off of Lush in what feels like months. I'm sure it's been months since I've ordered off of them. So I'm really excited to be getting more Lush stuff because my poor Lush box next to my bed here has been empty for a long, long time. So um, grab a drink, settle down. This is probably going to be a longish video because I have quite a lot of things to go through. I have all the products up here on my laptop as well. So I'll kind of explain to you the scents as much as I possibly can. And I'll also link them in the description box down below so you guys have direct links to them if you want them. So yeah, without any more further ado, let's get on to the video. Also, I will do little close-ups as I usually do of the bath bombs and bubble bars and everything um, to show you what they look like because Lush stuff is really pretty and I feel like everyone deserves to see it up close and I'm already literally covered in glitter and dust and everything because we all know that Lush bath bombs and everything are quite messy so yeah, I am going to be a hot mess and there's going to be glitter everywhere after this video. I literally spent over a hundred pounds on this it like it, it's probably the most I've ever spent on Lush personally myself um, I also got a few bits and bobs for my boyfriend for Christmas so I will not be including those little bits that I got in this because I don't want him to see um, just in case he watches this I doubt he would watch a Lush haul but I don't want to spoil it so yeah I did get a couple of bits for him as well but I will just be showing the stuff that is for me um, so yeah I'm gonna I've literally got the box right here Oh, full to the brim oh, of Christmas goodies so I'm gonna get on to showing you guys them also just a note if you guys ever order offline um, you can literally put in the box just before you purchase to have some samples I always get samples sent um, like this time I asked for soap samples you can get face masks mask samples anything so I've got literally like one two three five little soap bar samples so just a little note there you guys can ask for samples at the checkout and just yeah just so you can have some freebies they last ages as well and yeah gets you into trying more products from them I guess so first thing that I've got on my screen and it is covered in glitter right here is the Snow Fairy body spray. I was so excited to see that they were doing this. Snow Fairy is literally one of my all time favorite scents from Lush. I get it every single year. And even though I know it's like a Christmassy scent, I feel like it's one of those scents you can wear all year round if you love really sweet sugary candy scents you will freaking love this and I've never ever tried any of the Lush body sprays and stuff before I've heard they are really nice so let's try it out here on camera right now um this is a 200 ml bottle so it's kind of decent in size it is 20 pounds though it is expensive so this better smell damn good but I don't really know how you open this how do you open this guys Okay, let's just spray it on myself. Oh my god, it literally just smells like Snow Fairy. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. It literally is, as it says, it's the Snow Fairy scent that we all love in a, like, sprayer perfume mist. Oh, it smells really good. It's really stuck to my clothes too. Oh my God, I'm just gonna be spraying this all over me. It's quite a wet mist. Oh, I just smell like Snow Fairy. I feel like if you literally have like a Snow Fairy bath or shower and you spray this after, you would smell heavenly. So I'm really pleased that I got this. Overall right now, it smells super nice, really sugary, really sweet. If you're not into sickly sweet smells, probably isn't for you. But I can tell I'm going to love this. Um, I'll see how long it lasts on me. Hopefully it lasts well and I smell like a delicious cupcake all day. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Next thing I will show you guys is this bath bomb here. Oh, it's a bit crumbly. This one is called The World's Smallest Disco. And this one is 525, which is quite expensive for a bath bomb. Um, but it looks really, really funky. If you like the really colourful, lush 
um, bath bombs then you'll probably love this it looks so much fun it looks like it makes a bath mainly black in the end but it has all these sprouts of different rainbow colors and to me oh this smells super super citrusy like really citrusy so it says it has Persian lime oil um, popping candy um, grapefruit oil and cognac oil cognac oil I don't know if I'm saying that right but it smells super limey, super lemony. If you're really into citrusy smells, you will love this. I personally really like citrus smells. It smells so much fun. Um, not really a Christmassy scent in my opinion, but I'm not sure, is this even a Christmas one? I think it is, it was in the on the Christmas page, but I feel like this is one that they could sell all year round because it looks super fun and it smells super fresh, super citrusy. Love the smell of that and I'm really excited to use this. Okay, this one I believe I got last year as well, and I really, really enjoyed this one. This one here is called Shoot for the Stars. It has these little um, golden stars in it, and I believe they're like um, bath like oils or the bath melts. Um, so they kind of sit and float on the top of your bath for a while, and they have all nice essential oils and everything in them. Um, this one is four ninety five, and this one again has a slight citrus smell it's not as strong as the last one but this one has um, organic cocoa butter brazilian orange oil coconut cream and bergamot oil which is uplifting and cleansing so yeah i can definitely smell some sort of citrusy smell but i can also smell like the coconut and the cocoa butter in it but it's really really nice it's such a pleasant smell it just smells really fresh really clean and it's not too overpowering with citrus, if that makes sense. I am so crap at describing scents, guys. But to me, this smells so, so good. And I remember using it last year and I loved it. So had to repurchase this one again. So this one is Shoot for the Stars. And I freaking love this one. Okay, I'm really going to butcher this because it's got like a French name or something. I think this next one is called Pearl de Sol. Or maybe it's not French, maybe it's Spanish. I don't know. Anyone that speaks this language is gonna probably hate me because I don't know. I'm so not worldly wise, guys. <laughs> but I think it's called Pearl de, de, Sel, de Sel. I'm so sorry, guys. But it will be linked down below. Um, this one is really interesting smelling. It looks really fun. So it looks like just a plain bath bomb here with like some gold flakes at the top but on the image on the lush website it looks really blue um in the water so it must have some fun colors inside it which is what drew me to it um but i'm not sure i love the smell of this if i'm honest i'm still gonna use it but i can't even describe that it's i don't know if it's a, it's a bit granny-ish i don't know it's um let's read what's in it it's got sea salt oh rose absolute African salt pearls and I don't know resinoid I oh anti-inflammatory which is interesting but I don't know yeah it smells a bit like it smells a bit like yeah bit grannyish bit floral I don't know it smells like it should be like like oh do you guys know like ear cleaners like for your dogs and stuff like really chemically almost I don't know it's really hard to describe I know I'm really butchering this guys but I'm not a huge fan of the scent hopefully when it's dissolved in the bath it will smell a little bit different but um yeah it looks fun it looks like a really pretty blue when it dissolves so I'm gonna give this a go but not my favorite scent at the moment next is another snow fairy goodie so this is the snow fairy jelly bomb i have a feeling i got this last year as well when the jelly bombs kind of first came out and i flip and loved it it has that classic snow fairy scent which is super sugary i didn't actually read the ingredients for you on oh it doesn't say any of the ingredients listed for snow fairy well anyway it smells like bubble gum um and fairy floss and candy floss typical snow fairy scent and um it's one of the jelly bombs so if you've not used these before they're really interesting they make like a layer of kind of goop um on the top of your bath it's not like full jelly i feel like that's what i felt was gonna happen when i bought these first off but it's not it dissolves like a normal bath bomb but it has like a layer on top of your bath of this like foamy goop it's quite interesting um i don't think it's gonna be for everybody but i quite think i think they're quite fun to be honest so yeah this um classic snow fairy scent gotta love it beautiful pink color in the bath and this one was 525 and yeah really love the snow fairy scent i feel like it's an essential for christmas like if they ever got rid of it 
oh my god I just probably couldn't purchase from Lush again because Snow Fairy is the best <laughs> so this next one is a new one I believe but I'm not 100% sure um this one is called Puddy Holly I think it's meant to like be like a pudding mine looks absolutely shit I'm looking at the one on the website right now and it's meant to have like holly and little like berries in the top and look at mine it looks like an ass like it just looks rubbish like mine looks like poo mm. anyway this one is a literally traditional Christmas smell I feel like if you smell this you instantly think of Christmas. So this has fair trade organic cocoa butter, almond oils, Tonka Absolute and shea butter in it. But it's got, it's really spicy. Um, does it say what's making it spicy in this? Oh, cedarwood, cedarwood oil um, could be what's making it smell like that. I'm not sure. Um, but it smells super spicy, almost cinnamony. But it smells really fresh it almost smells like a christmas tree like you know like christmas trees like real christmas trees have a bit of a smell to it like a bit minty almost yeah it's like cinnamony mixed with an actual christmas tree it, uh, bleh, you know I'm, I'm rubbish at this i'm sorry guys but super festive smell i feel like if you love spicier scents and you love typical christmasy scents you will love this and obviously this one i didn't say is a bubble rune um which is kind of like a bubble bar so you just crumble it under the water and it makes lots and lots of bubbles and it's super glittery and fun and this one is 4.95 so again you could probably split this i sometimes like to mix and match so i probably split this in half and mix it with another bath bomb or something because gotta love having lots of bubbles in your bath so yes this is puddy holly and it smells so Christmassy oh my god like look at the glitter you guys oh I'm gonna have such mucky hands after this video okay so next this one is the uh, yog nog yule log yog nog yule log I think and this one is a big massive bubble bar which again I will probably cut up and use it a few times in the bath and this one obviously smells like eggnog so it's got a super spicy creamy scent to it very like vanilla-y very spicy um not my favorite scent again but it's very Christmassy and very festive so I will use it for the purpose of Christmas but this is like really big you guys and it also has it's really melty on the outside so it must have some of like the bath melty stuff on the outside to seal it so I'll read the ingredients for this one this one has clove bud oil um nutmeg powder yeah definitely smell the nutpe nutmeg um fair trade shea butter and soya yogurt oh interesting but this is super buttery it's like melting in my hands and you'd get like loads of uses out of this so this one is 5.95 so a bit more expensive but again i'd probably just chop this up or split it in half and use it in a few baths so excited to use this and i'll probably mix this one in with some other bath bombs as well so this next one is the Candy Mountain Yule Log. And again, mine does not look as cute as they do on the website. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the pretty much the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar that they do every year. But this year, I think they've switched it up. It looks slightly different than it normally does. Unless it looked like this last year and I can't remember. But I feel like it used to look different. So again, not going to talk about this too long. It's, it's the traditional snow fairy smell. So it smells like candy, like fairy floss, like sweets. And um, yeah, it looks super pretty and pink in the bath. And this is a bubble bar, so you just crumble it under the water. And this one's quite cheap. This one is $3.95. And yeah, gotta love the snow fairy scent for Christmas time. Oh, and last snow fairy thing, I promise. I got a mini one of the snow fairy um, shower gel because I have to get this every single year. Um, the small one, I believe, is... Um, $4.95 so if you get a little one it's a lot cheaper than the bigger ones but I always get I'm starting to get small things of the lush shower gels because I usually used to get like the 250 gram bottles but I feel like I'd get fed up like I'm that person that like I like to try numerous different shower gels and scents and stuff so when I have a big thing I like never fully use it if that makes sense and I feel like I leave the Lush stuff so long that it will go off so I decided to get a little one and obviously I got so many different Snow Fairy scents this year that I feel like 
it's like a lot so I thought I'll get a little one they still last like a hell of a long time to be honest because a little bit goes a long way but um yeah so I got a little one this year and um yeah super great everyone knows what a shower gel is and um yeah smells like snow fairy like sugary candy flossy and uh yeah I gotta love the lush shower gels they are amazing so this next one here I think is a new one I don't remember this one from last year this one is called holy night and this one again looks like such a fun bath bomb it's all blue and it's got yellow in it and it looks super pretty in the bath so this one is a normal bath bomb and this one is four pounds and 25 pence and this one oh I swear I just blew it all over my face Pfft, I felt that hit Crisis averted. I hope I don't have all dust all over me. Um, but this one smells super fresh, a little bit spicy, kind of minty almost. So this one has rose absolute, soya milk powder, um, lemon oil, which explains the citrusy smell, and sandalwood oil. So this one smells really fresh, really clean. So, so nice. I can't really smell the rose that much, but I can definitely smell the soft smell of the lemon in it. Um, but this one's super fresh, super nice, and I keep saying super, really nice, and um, yeah, I can't wait to use this one, it looks really pretty. I'm trying to speed this up, you guys, I've been filming for 20 minutes already, so. Right, this one excited me, this one is called Cherry Christmas, which is another new one, and this one looks so, so cute, it's got a little snowflake in it, and it's pink. And it also looks like when it dissolves, it's got all blue in the middle. It looks really fun. So this is a normal bath bomb and this one is $3.95. And this one obviously smells like berries. It smells so, so good. Um, so this one has buchu oil in it, lemon oil, and oh, cornstarch for thickening. What? But to me, it smells, it's got a little bit of that sugary snow fairy kind of scent to it, but it smells really berry-ish. Black oh, blackcurrant scented buchu oil to spread cheer. Mm, so yeah, it it does smell a bit ribenery actually. So yeah, smells super berry, super fresh. If you love berry kind of scents, then you will really love this. It smells really sweet and sugary as well. So if you like snow fairy, you'll probably love this. But yeah, this one's super girly, super pretty, and I cannot wait to use this one in the bath. So this one is Cherry Christmas. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, so this next one, I'm sure it's been around for a few years now. I'm going to hold this on really quick because it melts. This is the Starlight Star Bright Bath Melt. So it's all like melty on the outside. It's silver and glittery and such a mess. Um, and this one is really colourful on the inside so it melts in the bath. It's not so much a bath bomb or a bubble bar. But it is so pretty. And this one has ginger oil, muramura butter, lime oil and almond oil but I can't really smell it too much. It's quite mild, but I feel like you can smell a little bit of spice in there, a little bit of lime. I'm gonna put this down because it's melting everywhere. Like, look at my hands, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so it's like really subtle scent, but it's so pretty in the bath. And because it's a bath melt, it's full of like really nice essential oils. I said that so weird, oils. It's like oil oils um, to help soften the skin and make you feel super soft afterwards. And um, yeah, I've had this one a few years now and it's so good. So that one is Starlight Star Bright. And I can't remember if I said, but that is $4.95. I need to go and get something for my hands right now. My laptop's covered in everything. Oh my God. Right, okay. And last one, finally. This one technically is from the Halloween range, which I'm so sad that I missed and didn't buy anything from the Halloween range um, because they had really cool stuff this year. But um, I didn't want to get anything now because it's like out of Halloween season and it doesn't feel right. But I got this because, to me, this is a Christmas bath bomb, not a Halloween. So, as I do yearly, I got the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. Um, because to me, I don't get why it's Halloween-y. Maybe it's in preparation for Christmas, but this smells like Christmas in a bath bomb. It is all green and it's got like pinky red on the inside. This one is 425 and this one is relaxing and earthy with patchouli oils, black pepper oils, vanilla absolute and popping candy. And it literally again has that really spicy cinnamony Christmas smell to it. So I feel like it's accepted to get a Lord of Misrule as a Christmas bath bomb because I feel like it's Christmassy like why is that not in the Christmas range unless it is and I didn't notice but it was definitely in the Halloween bit on the website so yeah I'm 
really excited to use this one. I've used it for years and it's so fun in the bath. And to me, it smells really festive and really Christmassy as well. Great, so finally we have made it through the Lush haul. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you please thumbs up this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel too. There'll be links down below to previous videos and I will also link my social media sites down below as normal so you guys can check that out if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram and all of that jazz. And I will also link all of the bath bombs and goodies that I mentioned in this video down below for you guys. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's all I have to say for now um, but I hope you guys are excited for Christmas because I am as usual <laughs> um, I love Christmas time it's so fun although I do feel the stress right now of getting everyone presents because I feel like that is just a stressful time buying people things and knowing what to get people so yeah I'm trying to get all my Christmas shopping done early but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for Christmas also let me know if you want me to do more Lush hauls or if you have any video requests down below but I love you guys so so much and I hope you all have a fantastic day bye